Hello, my name is Chris Weir. There is a lot of misinformation in the fitness industry. As a personal trainer, it is important to be able to understand the difference between fact and fiction. Here are some common fitness myths debunked. Myth one, women who lift weights get big bulky muscles. Women will not bulk up like men because they have a different hormone profile. Men have more testosterone, which promotes muscle growth. Nutrition is the biggest factor in becoming bulky. If energy in is greater than energy out, additional bulk will be put on. Resistance training is important for everyone, for strong muscles, bones, ligaments, and tendons. Myth two, muscles will turn into fat if you stop exercising. Muscle cells cannot physiologically be turned into fat cells. They are two totally different types of cell types. Once resistance training is stopped, muscles will lose strength and atrophy or decrease in size. If the same amount of food is eaten, calorie excess, the additional energy will be stored as additional fat. The fat cells will store the additional energy and become bigger or fatter. Myth three, you can't spot reduce problem areas. Spot reduction exercises promote working a particular muscle or body part to burn fat from the worked area. This does not work. When a person is in calorie deficit, move more, eat less, fat reduces from all over the body. Where from and how quickly is dependent on individual genetic makeup and body shape. By working a particular muscle group, that muscle group becomes stronger and bigger and potentially more defined. Myth four, lift light weights for a high number of repetitions for toning. Muscle tone is an ambiguous term, but generally means having adequate amounts of muscle that are visible under low levels of body fat. Maintaining muscle or building muscle occurs when the muscle is placed under overload. Overload results from increases in the load lifted. As the body gets stronger and adapts to lifting a certain weight, that weight will become easier to lift and the weight will be, need to be um, increased to create an overload effect. The best way to get stronger and build muscle is to lift heavy weights. To reduce body fat, energy output must be greater than energy input. A healthy diet is therefore important. In summary, lift weights to speed up metabolism, make muscles stronger through progressive overload, eat a well-balanced diet, to do adequate cardi cardiovascular exercise, and the body will become a fast fat-burning machine, resulting in a lean and toned look. Myth five, men and women need different exercise programs. Men and women have the same functional anatomy and physiology in terms of muscles and exercise response. Both genders have the same musculoskeletal structure and both require progressive overload to stimulate physiological adaptations in muscle strength, endurance and power. Therefore, men and women's exercise programs should be basically the same. The only difference that men have a higher capacity for muscle hypertrophy due to higher hormonal levels. The female menstrual cycle and additional recovery should also be taken into account when programming. These and other fitness myths are covered in Fit Education Cert 3 and Cert 4 in Fitness. Contact a Fit Education Careers Advisor to find out more. If you found this video post interesting, you may also enjoy subscribing to our YouTube channel or visiting our blog. Thank you for listening.